no, 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 no. I don't really spend time on my phone in the morning. Like after a few hours have passed. After like I feel like okay, shut up, defrosted now. That's when I spend time on my phone. Other than that, nah. So the time now is half past seven. Yeah, and I did not thing. I did nothing. I'm trying to find a sermon to listen to. Book.com and get it. And there's certain things that you will have access to. We have to make up our minds on a daily basis. Do you want God's vision or do you want your version? And if we're honest with ourselves, there are times where we prefer our version of his vision more than his vision. We don't just want it to come to pass. We want it to come to pass our way. And we will sacrifice his vision. We will sacrifice what God has told us will come to pass just so that we can play director and executive producer for a day in his life that he's given us. We would rather have it happen our way than wait for the time to allow God to have it his way. It's all right. I've been there. I'm talking from, from life here. This isn't just, <laughs> no, I totally 100% feel you, which is why I am telling you, God's vision is always better than our version. And Sarai- I'm actually quite done listening to the sermon and it was my first time listening to Pastor Ebenezer, which, I really like listening to new people because I don't like um, just going to the faves because with the faves you obviously know what to expect. So I pretty much created notes about the sermon that I just listened to. Anyways, this pastor pretty much spoke about how um, God has instilled promises within us, be it you starting that business or whatever it is that you just really need to embark on. And I, I feel like a lot of people could be quite skeptical about this, like how do you know that God has granted me this promise and stuff like that. What I can actually say is that uh, the thing that you really need to understand guys is that God is pretty much the creator of earth and I'm really not trying to convince anyone like I said. That is why like sometimes when you read the Bible you would come across verses um, for example in the book of Isaiah he pretty much speaks about how he has went ahead of us right. Uh, I'm really not trying to get deep into stuff but what, what I'm really trying to say is if you're a person who really worries a lot I'm just really trying to like come here and affirm you that there's really no need for you to worry because God has went ahead of you and everything is settled. It does not feel like that in the present moment, but you just really need to know that things are, are working for your good. The thing is when you have a desire to do something, you need to understand that that desire just doesn't come randomly. It doesn't come, it just doesn't land in your heart. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty much God really helping you and guiding you and just, um, helping you in accomplishing what is really ordained over your life. It's how God has granted the promises over our lives and sometimes it really feels like the promise that God has given us has been delayed, right? It's like you know what is expected of you. You need, you know you need to start that business. You know that things are going to turn out to be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But for some odd reason, as you navigate your life, you're just seeing what you does not take it. Like it's not happening for someone. So what he pretty much spoke about is that sometimes God tends to like restrain the promises that he has granted us because there's something within us that would contaminate the vision, right? That he has given us. And most of the time it could be our hearts. That's why it also come across the verses where it tells you like you need to guard your heart because everything flows from it, right? Cool, shut. So he pretty much spoke about that we need to be careful about how we treat people right because sometimes that's how god also restrains this vision that he has granted you because you're a person who doesn't treat people you don't know how to live with people you don't know how to communicate with people you just don't know how to live with people because of that god restrains this purpose or this vision that he has over your life because you simply cannot treat people well the people that have been granted to us god uses them as an agent as an agent um, to help us 
birth this vision and that is why like i pretty much wrote a note here that it's pretty much important as a person to respect people regardless of their titles regardless of their tax brackets regardless of what work they do love on people and be humble and just truly treat god's children like they are god's children so that's pretty much what he spoke about what no they don't have a reason i just don't like them and he says that a lot of times the reason why people would just hate on people for no reason is because that's there's something in them that they tend to hate um that they find in themselves so it's obviously easier or a lot easier for you to hate something in someone else than for you to face it in you you know and he says that even if uh, you don't agree with them like you just continuously don't agree with what they have to say or agree with them um, that's because you're more like them than what you think it was deep child but anyways let's move on so he pretty much said that um, we should not allow the absence of the word like when we do not hear what God is saying like um, when we do not hear what God is saying and we just decide to actually move on ourselves, we like, okay, sure, God is boutiquing me. I'm going to make something for myself. I'm going to move forward, you know? I'm going to move forward because God is boutiquing me. What could I do? I don't have the patience to I don't have the patience to wait on him and it also really seems like he's not doing anything on my end you know it happens you do feel like we're like oh god has favorites god is doing amazing things for other people but why is it that he's not doing the same for me you know what he's pretty what he pretty much said is that you should not allow the absence of the word to make us feel like we need to move I mean, and all of that for you to go ahead of him and do your own thing because it's not going to work out for you good anyways what he pretty much said is you need to have a deeper understanding in the heart in which you produce so remember everything flows from the heart whatever you produce and for it to be fruitful is because of the heart so yeah because he's saying that you need to have a deeper understanding of your heart and in the way in which you produce because it will come out anyway so if you pretty much have a nasty heart and you're trying to disguise it by acting as a good person it's going to come out anyways baby a few moments later hope i look beautiful today saturday and i'm heading out as always okay i'm lying not as always i took a break from the streets but we back um i'm about to go out i was pretty much got ready so quickly i don't know where we headed i think we headed to brown this is obviously gonna be a short vlog because i don't intend on taking my camera today and yeah so i pretty much hope that you like comment subscribe uh, nonetheless the way my camera looks it's like i used the filter and i didn't this is how i look every day don't be misled i know i know i know that you can Anyways, hey guys, <laughs> I just had a little singing session for y'all because San Kumbule. Oh, this is actually what I wore on top when I left the house. These glasses suit me so much. Every time I look at myself with them on, I just want to cry. Today, Gesana, um, what happened? So, I left the house, went to Bram. I must say that Bram is now dead, guys. Ah, I don't want to lie. Now I'm just like i just really want a neutral spot like a neutral place like how bram used to be now it's dead guys it's dead like you know how bram used to be you were guaranteed a vibe now uh what do i want to say uh 
yeah anyways we're still at banister the food came but the pizza for some odd reason wasn't banging and that's why like i kept seasoning it with um black pepper and chili pepper it wasn't banging like it really wasn't banging you could even taste the dough from the pizza i was just so disappointed because anyway so that happened and then after we went back no after banister we were like we're gonna go to drama because we actually wanted a vibe like we wanted a vibe we go to drama we go to drama drama is do it guys like do it do it do it do it like drama is so dead guys like yo i promise you if you know drama it's saturday today bro like but if you know how bram used to be comparing to how it is now like you'd get the shock of your life bro anyways guys so we enter drama we're the only people there like the only people there bruh the only people there i'm making a change today the liquor been taking the pain away i heard you was giving your chain away that's kind of like giving your fame away what's wrong with you i sit in a box where their owners do a boss is a road that i've grown into i love you to death but i told you the truth i can't just be with you i'm only you yeah, I got one Virgil, got one in that dead, the only two, man How many times have I shown and proved, man How many nights I've been woke, swerving the potholes Not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay Funny how life goes, he thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay They want my life exposed, they want to know how the highs and lows Well, summer all I did was rest, okay And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay We'll see what's about to happen next, okay Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, hey, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, we'll see what's about to happen. the change today the liquor been taking the pain away i heard you was giving your chain away that's kind of like giving your fame away what's wrong with you i sit in a box where their owners do a boss is a road that i've grown into i love you to death but i told you the truth i can't just be with you i'm only you yeah i got one lawyer got one in that day the only two man how many times have i told you the truth man how many nights i've been woke swerving them potholes not trying to fuck up the wheels to fuck up the deals i'm posting this stop home it's me the owls and the twins it's only the real i'm moving way too humble wheezy and handed it off i still got no fumbles I'm